What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Spud. It's your boy, Los, and welcome to Cold Blooded Reactions, yo. Yo, so today we're going to be reacting to 10 Disney actors that have disappeared without a trace. Interesting. I didn't even know he was reacting to this nah. until right now. I picked all the videos before Los got here. <laughs> uh, I wanted to get ready so we could just record straight up. Um, yeah, I fuck with that. <laughs> I, fu I found this vi this video. I was like, oh, it might be a little interesting to see what it's about, That's baby. That's kind of crazy, though. Top 10 Disney actors that disappeared. Hmm. I'm interested. Yeah. I want to see who pops up. I knew he would be. That's why I picked it. Uh, so we're going to watch this video. We're going to react to it and give you guys our honest reactions to see what's going on. Let's see what's cracking. About six months ago, there was a man with that same name who showed up on a missing persons report. His disappearance actually made national news because he was one of the original members of the Disney Mouseketeers back in the 1950s. Disney is obviously a huge part of the entertainment industry and has been a breakout point for many actors throughout the years. But not all of these people have gone on to become super huge mega stars after their Disney date. <laughs> it's Los's wifey. This nigga. <laughs> from people who right. disappeared from the spotlight to people who had nah. career changes <laughs> all the way to actual missing people who needed to be searched for on today's list i'm going to be covering 10 disney actors that disappeared without a trace starting off this that list in our number 10 spot we have orlando yeah. brown that so brown raven is an trace. absolutely <laughs> iconic i don't know <laughs> trust me he ain't I mean, oh, you the person he used to be disappeared yeah. without a trace. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, All you have to do is follow the white dust line and you'll find him at the end of listen, it. Listen. He loved the little I, that Yo, listen. That is sad. That was, that's a sad, yeah, sad, sad I mean, he's not the story. first. But it's yo, still man. a sad story. I, I, yeah, Orlando Brown, man. Hope you, I hope, I hope you're getting the help you need, man. That's all I'm going to say. Oh, uh, yeah. Trust me. He ain't, he, he ain't disappeared without a trace. He, he, he's still around. Must suck to find out Shut that he's the reason why Raven turned into a lesbian. We even done that. Iconic Disney Channel show that was a huge part of my childhood. One standout childhood character too? on the show was one of Raven's best friends, Eddie Thomas. Eddie was a goofy jock type character who always provided some good comedic relief, even though all of the characters in that show had their own hilarious moments. Eddie was played by Orlando Brown, and after that, so Raven stopped filming. He had a few more Disney roles, such as voicing the character of Sticky on The Proud Family, but then for a long time he totally disappeared from our screens and had a lot of people asking where he went. Well, he resurfaced after a while and not in the way we would have thought. While he did end up having a small role in the movie Straight Outta Compton, that was greatly overshadowed by some more personal things he had going on. Orlando- I didn't even know he was in that movie. Yeah, I watched that movie like crazy. twice, I still don't know what part she's talking about. <laughs> I'm, I watched that movie twice, bro. I don't know what, what part he was in. I saw in. that shit in the theaters, and I couldn't even see him in 4K, bro. I don't know what's That's going on. He was, was arrested for a domestic dispute with his then-girlfriend, as well as being in possession of illicit substances. Since then, he has mainly stayed out of the public eye and hasn't seen many acting roles, which could be in part due to his tumultuous history. All in all, I hope Orlando is doing well, and I hope he stays out of trouble. One thing I gotta say about him, he did start, uh, and you see this pattern a lot with the Disney kids that started off very early, because he started off like when he was like five, yeah. uh, acting. Like yeah. he was in that uh, military movie with uh, one of the Wayne Bros. I forgot the one. Yeah, they gotta keep that squeaky clean image. Yeah, and stuff so when they're growing up and shit. But there's not, they're not squeaky clean behind the scenes, bro. It's crazy. There's yeah. a lot of them. Moving on to number nine, we have Ashley Brillalt. Before I dive into this one, guys, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button if you're enjoying the video so far because it really helps us out. Lizzie McGuire is a Disney classic that a lot of us remember from growing up, and we will never be able to forget the iconic mean girl role of Kate Sanders. Kate had all the best looks and lived a life that I used to envy, aside from her being pretty rude a lot of the time. Kate was played by a woman named Ashley Brillalt, and watching Lizzie McGuire as a preteen is the last time I can remember seeing her, so where the heck did she go? Well, as it turns out, after the show finished, Ashley decided to walk away from her acting days and leave her life of fame. She ended up attending California State University where she received her BA, and then she moved to Colorado where she attended the University of Denver. She is now a lawyer and she is married and has been focusing Still on her family sense. and being no a mom. Career-wise, she is focusing sure. on criminal justice reform and she also is a strong supporter of numerous charities. While the character of Kate did have some redeeming qualities and moments, it seems as though 
Ashley is definitely not at all the mean girl that she used to play. In our number 8 spot today we have Tiffany Thornton. Sunny with a Chance was a show that was airing when I was just getting out of my Disney watching days, but I am sure there are many of you out there who remember the show very well. While short lived, it was one of the Disney shows where Demi Lovato got her start, of course aside from the iconic Camp Rock movies. While Demi has continuously been in the spotlight since these days, that is not true for all of her former castmates, particularly for Tiffany Thornton who played the role of the diva Tawny Hart. Tiffany ended up leading the Sunny with a Chance spinoff, but after both shows ended, we truly didn't hear much from her after, which left us all wondering, where had she gone? As it turns out, there isn't much of a crazy story here. Tiffany simply found herself with an opportunity to focus on other things aside from acting, and she took it. She chose to leave her Disney days behind in favor of a life where she could focus on her family and her children. Not many people realize how difficult it can be to be a full-time actor who- has a family, so I can totally understand why Tiffany took these steps, and I can appreciate her making the choices she felt were best for her. In our number 7 spot today, we have Kylie Williams. I don't even know what to say about the Cheetah Girls other than the fact that those soundtracks played repeatedly in my home as a child. Between they could have kept making bread. I just remember the thing, yo, yo, my sister, yo, just, yo, she had the soundtrack and everything was blasting that shit. I used to be like, yo, what the... <laughs> Yo, I just see them that just, just crazy. What did happen to them though? They started all beefing. They all just started beefing. That ass? Yeah, they all. Oh wait, I think beefing. I heard about that ass. They all just yeah. started beefing with each other. I probably, including they're Raven too. They're probably gonna think, try to figure out where she was too, cause so I don't know where she exactly. Been. She gone. They're about to, they're about to just like bang these two up. <laughs> Back to back. Being absolutely back to jealous Cheetah of girls. the lives these girls were living, to being empowered by the messages of these movies. The Cheetah Girls is an iconic series of movies that will forever live in my heart. But we're one thing I can say about the the Cheetah Girls, though, they, when they took Raven and they tried to make an actual music group out of them three, that's what hurt. Because uh, if Raven was a part of the Cheetah Girls, you know that shit would blow. Because that was when Raven Simone was at the top of her shit with that's a raven and shit like yeah, that yeah, she was a yeah, part yeah. of the cheetah girls bro that shit would have blown up even more like the that's actual what, group yeah but you know why though but that's why but i like because raven was not trying to be the disney person and i feel like yeah. a lot it's like it's like every time you always get that one person from disney that just kind of like yeah i'm not trying like like I'm break done. out like yeah. whether it's fuck whether it's miley Raven, they're just like yeah. I'm not trying to be remembered for that. Nah, Same I'm thing not, with yeah, Demi and everything. Yeah. And Demi too, yeah. Demi too. You know what I mean? So yeah. I feel like the only one that kind of made like that full transition that's known for Disney, but still like not known for Disney, mm -hmm. was um Hillary Duff. Yeah, you know what I mean? Because it's like you know her as Lizzie McGuire, but you don't know her for just Lizzie McGuire. Either. I haven't. What movie did she do after like after like Disney though? I she didn't do music. She didn't do movies. She became a musician. Yeah. You know what I mean? She had a music career. She I mean, the Jonas brothers. The Jonas brothers could kind of be in that category too because they yeah, but the Jonas brothers it. like they like they were known for like they started out as Disney. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like they ended up. But I feel like word. Hillary Duff is like the only person to still be Disney and not be known for Disney. Like if somebody Lindsay was, Lohan tried to do music too, but it wasn't the same. Lindsay Lohan. Oh, that's another one. I feel like that's like that. That that's another one that kind of like fits that whole Raven Simone. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, but I feel it because like Disney, like that squeaky keep clean image. Like, it's hard to keep that up. You know what I mean? It's I mean, there's people that try to rap after Disney, and it's, that's that's what it's, it's like. How, who's what rapper <laughs> is gonna be like? Yo, you know who I want to do a feature with? That kid that did that Disney show. Like, nah, it's not happening, bro. Not They're not here to talk about my love for the Cheetah Girls. Right now, we are talking about Kylie Williams, who played the character of Aqua in the movies. After the breakup of the Cheetah Girls, we saw Kylie pursue music for a short while, but then we pretty much stopped hearing from her altogether, which left us all wondering where she went. While I don't have a lot of information on why she stepped out of the spotlight, she did. 
During this time, she got married and started a family, and she now has a daughter named Rowan, who was born in 2018. For a while, she had an internet series with former co-star Sabrina Bryant, but that YouTube channel hasn't seen an upload in the last three years. Creatively, I'm not sure what she is up to now, but you can still find her on Instagram, where she regularly posts photos of herself and her beautiful family. In our number six spot today, we have Raviv Ullman. Phil of the Future Whoa! Disney show in from 2004 to 2006. Yo, I still don't even know how the show ended. I don't know what happened on that show, bro. I'm not I even going to I think he ends up going back to the future. Like, they finally end up going back. It was kind of like, yeah, he ends up going back to the future. And then, like, I think, like, he finds her and like, she's mad old and shit. And then he ends up still, like, getting with her. I don't know. Like, some cra yeah, bro. <laughs> some crazy shit. I'm like, huh? It's been so long. And was about a family about who studio. was from the future, but who got like, stuck fire. in the 21st century know, after their time machine broke down. I remember watching this show growing up, but a lot of it certainly does feel like some sort of a fever dream. The show's titular Definitely. character, Phil, was played by an actor who used to go by the name Ricky Ullman, but we didn't see a lot of him after the show ended, which of course left people wondering. Well, Ricky now goes by the name Revive, which appears to have been his real name all along, and he used to just prefer his nickname. Since the end of Phil of the Future, Revive might have disappeared from our screens, but he has remained as creative as ever, starring in a few different off-Broadway productions, as well as playing in two different bands called Goodbye Ian and His Orchestra. It's I good to I know that Revive is still out there creating it. art, and if anyone ends up listening to his music, make sure you let me know how it is. In our number five spot today, we have to Kay Panabaker, another member oh, of the man. Phil of the Future team we haven't seen since the end of the show, oh, is actor too. Kay Panabaker who played the character of Debbie Berwick. Debbie was known as the extremely chipper and good-natured character, and she was unfortunately written out of the show before the first season ended. After the show, Kay had a few other smaller roles, but she ultimately decided to leave acting altogether after this. You may be wondering what she has been up to and where she has been in the last decade, and thankfully, I have the answer for you. Kay ended up attending university at UCLA, where she studied zoology. After her graduation, she actually somehow ended up back in the land of Disney when she took a full-time job working at Disney's Animal Kingdom. I'm sure that is an extremely cool job, and I think it's pretty awesome that she started out on Disney, and after all those years, found herself back at Disney in a completely different capacity. In our number four spot today, we have Alana Austin. Motocrossed was released in 2001 and was a favorite Motocross. Disney Channel Whoa. original movie about a young woman who had to hide her gender so that she could compete in a male-dominated movie motocross competition. It was a super cool movie that I believe had a good and empowering message in the end from what I can remember and the movie starred Alana Austin who we didn't see much of after this iconic role. After this movie Alana apparently did some small acting roles here and there but nothing really ever big and nothing after 2006. After leaving the limelight she decided to switch her focus from acting to something different and this is when she went to the University of Southern California in order to study pre-medicine. Alana can still be found on Instagram where she shares photos of her life and her family and hey, maybe one day we'll see her return to our Hi everyone, we are the Story Girls. This is how Fiverr helped us turn our scary bathroom into the bathroom of our screens, but as long as she is happy, that is all we need to hear. In our number three spot today, we have Lelaine. Another integral part of Yo. the cast of Lizzie McGuire was one Yo, That's host. somebody who I wonder what the fuck happened. Where the hell is Gordo, bro? Gordo? Yeah, the dude that played Gordo. Never seen that dude ever again. So, yeah, every, the whole Lizzie McGuire cast just, like, disappeared. The whole gang except for Hillary Duff, bro, Yeah, literally. Of Lizzie's best friends, Miranda, who was played by Lelaine. Since we have heard many rumors of a Lizzie reboot, this has left a lot of fans wondering where Lelaine has been since her days on the show. Lelaine has released some music and done a bit of acting since those days, but she has mostly stepped out of the spotlight, especially in the last decade. I'm not exactly sure if there was a reason for this or not, but it seems as though she may be getting back into the acting game as she recently filmed a movie last year that is in the post production stages. Her break from the spotlight may have been due to a bit of a rough patch she went through in 2007 where she was arrested due to possession of illicit substances, which was then exacerbated after she missed a court hearing. In a turn of good news, however, Lelaine completed her mandatory rehabilitation and as far as I know has remained in a better place better ever since, me. which is truly the most important Never thing. If that Lizzie reboot does no, end up happening, it would be great to see her reprise her role because I would absolutely 
we love to see Lizzie, Miranda, and Gordo all back together but just for she, one day. Well, and at number two, she wasn't even in the Lizzie McGuire movie. No, she, they they like I think in the last season she wasn't even in it, bro. Yeah, it was it was only Lizzie and Gordo on that one. It's yeah. like she went somewhere else. <laughs> But today we have Dennis Day. This one story is a bit different than the others on this list, and it is significantly darker. Dennis Day was an actor and an original cast member of the Mickey Mouse Club as a child. After his child star days ended, he became a theater director. In 2009, Dennis married his longtime partner, Henry Ernest Caswell. In July of 2018, Henry, who was suffering from dementia, was admitted into the hospital after a fall, and this is when Dennis went missing. He was last seen on July 17, 2018, after telling a third housemate, who was also a handyman, that he was going to visit friends. Dennis had left his cat and dog at home, and the dog was found shortly after wandering around the neighborhood. The day after Dennis's disappearance, his car was found around 200 miles away, in the possession of some random people who claimed that they had permission to take it, despite the fact that Dennis left the previous day on foot. To try and sum up this long, multi-layered story, one of Dennis's neighbors had a letter from Dennis where he describes being attacked by the handyman. Dennis was missing for quite some time, and despite many, many searches and a lot of publicity about this case, it wasn't until almost a year later that his body was found. He ended up being found on his own property, and while his cause of death was not released, the handyman, who was a 36-year-old man named Daniel James Berta, was charged with several crimes in connection to Dennis's death, including manslaughter, criminally negligent homicide, and identity theft. It appears as though there was some altercation between the two after Dennis told Daniel that he didn't want him living in his home anymore, but it isn't completely clear what happened after. Daniel has since been deemed unfit to stand trial, so he has instead been admitted into a hospital where he will reside until further notice. In our number one spot today, we have Stephen Anthony Lawrence. Oh Even Stevens was another God. one of those absolutely Jeez. iconic Disney Channel shows. It is where Shia LaBeouf really got his start, but we all know who truly stole the show, and that is the beloved character of Bean. Beans was played by an actor named Stephen Anthony Lawrence, and his role was originally supposed to just be a featured role, but he quickly turned into a series regular. Beans was an extremely lovable and goofy character that was impossible not to absolutely love, but after the show ended, while we saw a bit of him for a while, he mostly disappeared from our screens, which is a tragic loss. Many people began to worry that he may have possibly fallen down the dark path that many child stars have been known to go down, but there is some good news. That is not the case at all. After Even Stevens ended, Steven went on to have a few more acting roles, but he began experiencing male pattern baldness at the very young age of 14. HoneyBook is the one stop yeah. shop, yeah, and I've been using them right for ahead. years. HoneyBook is the hub. Which made it extremely difficult to book acting roles as a teenager. After this, when he was in his 20s, Stephen's father unfortunately ended up being diagnosed with cancer and was his primary caregiver. Stephen actually unfortunately lost both of his parents to cancer and he put his career on hold in order to take care of them both. He explained that being an actor while trying to go through something like that is next to impossible, which I can completely understand. Stephen has obviously lived quite a life for someone so young, and maybe one day we'll see him try his hand at acting again, but for now you can find him on Cameo as well as on YouTube where he hosts his own show called The Rice and Beans Show. <laughs> Alright guys, that has been our list for today. Thank you so much for oh, checking it out. Like I've been your host, show. Olivia Koslowski, yeah. and I'll see you next time. Bye! All right. I thought it was gonna be a darker video. I'm not gonna lie to you, but it was, yeah, it was just like, oh, all right. you know what I mean? Like they disappeared from like the limelight type shit. I see y'all. Y'all got us with that clickbait title. Whatever. Y'all got one on us. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a decent that, uh, video. Yeah, it I was guess. a good video though. That these like there was a lot of people on that list that I was like, yo, I never heard from them ever yeah, again. Some other, not. Yo, some of the other people like they came from like the back, like the recesses of my mind type. Shit. I bet like, you, if we have yeah. a younger audience, they won't know who any of those people are. Of course not. They're gonna be like, yo, who are these ancient ass relics? But those are people we grew up with. Yeah, and man. That's just crazy. At least now we know what's going on. Yo, Los, I hit feel him. old. Hit them with the outro, Los. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yo, we appreciate y'all for tuning in. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos that we drop. If you like any videos, if you got any videos that you want us to react to, make sure y'all comment down below. This is Spud, this is Los, we signing out. Deuces. Deuces.